Today for Mouse Trap Monday, we're going to test out this new plastic guillotine style rodent trap from China. I'm constantly searching online for new traps to feature on my channel. So when I saw this for sale on Amazon for $12.99, I thought I'd buy it. It's made out of black plastic and a funny thing is they almost made it look like it has cat ears on this piece that goes up and down. That's the guillotine, also known as the kill gate. I know that because it says it on the instructions. It says number one, bait door on the back end of the trap. Number two, bait cup, put peanut butter or another high protein bait in the bait cup. We'll do that soon. Number three, it says gear. It's more like a trigger, an angled piece of plastic they push forward to get the bait. Number four, the kill gate, a sharpened piece of plastic that's spring loaded and will come slamming down on the mouse or rat's neck. Number five, wall edge. That's where you place it, against the wall or another high activity location. Number six, caution, watch your hands. Keep away from children when using this product to avoid unnecessary injury so the kids don't get to go anywhere near this trap. It's big enough they could stick their hands in there. And even though it says it can catch mice, I think it's more for rats because if it was mouse size, it'd look more like this. This is the Victor Clean Kill Mouse Trap. It's basically the same design, only much smaller. I've already posted a video on this trap, so we're gonna try out the Chinese copy that's larger for rats. We'll start with number one, open up the bait door. And there's the bait cup. Let's get some peanut butter. That is my favorite bait. Brings them right in. Now when we're trying to catch rats, we'll have that closed, but I'm gonna leave it open for now so we can see the kill gate or guillotine. Now inside the trap, there's two powerful springs. They're connected in the front on top and they're wire that runs back to the kill gate. That's what causes it to come slamming down. To set it, it takes two hands. We pull up that kill gate and it latches into place. You can see the peanut butter in the back through a hole in the trigger. We'll flip that around so you can see it. It's an angled piece of plastic right there. When it's pushed forward, the kill gate's released with those springs and they come slamming down just like this. Squeak, squeak, some peanut butter. <laughs> Smells good, better go get it. Bam, right on the neck. That's what you'll see in the morning is a tail and some feet sticking out. And in the front, just shy of the peanut butter is the rat's nose. Now we just need a wild rodent to go inside. Let's go set this up with motion cameras in the chicken coop. There are plenty of rats out there. Let's see if we can get one of them to go inside to get the peanut butter, release the kill gate, and get caught.
Well, the motion cameras were very clear. For over a week, we tried out this plastic rodent trap from China. We set it up with Norway rats, deer mice, house mice, and pack rats. The pack rats pulled it away, tried to get the bait, but none of the animals went inside, stuck their head under the plastic guillotine, and got caught. So this is a piece of junk in my opinion. We'll go ahead and give it a flip in the garbage. Sorry, there's no wild animals to feed. No giving mice and rats a little flip, but not everything for sale is a good product. So on my channel, you see the good along with the bad. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider clicking the button right here. Currently, I'm posting new videos every Monday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.